welcome back to my channel. It's me, Karen. So it's been a while since my last upload, but I miss doing this. And I am so excited because I'm gonna be sharing another bag review with you guys. And yes, you have read it in the title. I will be talking about the Kate Spade Emeline. So if this is something that sparks your interest, just keep on watching. proceed to the review of the Kate Spade Emeline, I just want to share with you that um, I started collecting bags with uh, Kate Spade handbags. So the first one in my collection is a Kate Spade and that was 2017. So the Kate Spade Emeline is just my second bag from Kate Spade. Most of them are from Coach or from Michael Kors and I'm excited to share my first handbag and my first Kate Spade with you guys. So the exact name of this bag is a Kate Spade Bright Water Drive Rachel. So according to the description when I bought this, this is a small size but for me it fits into the medium to large sizes of bag. If I have one bag in my collection that is so overused and one of my favorites, this is my favorite because this is the first and it actually the design of this bag speaks um, of my personality so it's bold and it's funky I don't know it's girly at the same time and uh, got this from eBay so the story behind this bag was I was looking into it I saw it in, in um, I saw it in an Instagram seller but when I finally decided, yeah, I'll just purchase the bag, it was actually phased out or it was discontinued already. So luckily, I was able to find a listing of this bag from eBay. So I got this for like, if I can remember, it's $120 plus dollars. And uh, it's brand new with tags, so I had no regrets of purchasing it. And then this bag started it all. So my love for bags started with this one, actually. So if you like this bag as well, I think I saw two listings from eBay. I just don't know if they're legit or what, but you can check it out. So just search Kate Spade Bright Water Drive Rachel, and then you'll see uh, the listings in eBay. So let's get into business and just talk about this gorgeous right here. So this is the Kate Spade Emlyn, but I'm going to be reading the exact name of this bag and the code, I think, uh, what do you call it, a product code. So it is, or the style code, I mean, it's the Emlyn WKRU5762 Briar Link Wilted in the color black. And the debut date it says here it was on November 16, 2018. So that's right. Let's take a closer look. So this is made of smooth cow leather. And as you can see, it's quilted. And I love the shape or this the design of this bag. So it looks like a leaf to me. So they're like leaves. And I love it. I love the design because most of the quilted bags that I see um, are like uh, diamond shaped or square but this one is uh, I think the design of the quilt is unique the hardware so the hardware is in gold tone but um, it's a pale gold I think so the straps it has this chain strap you cannot detach it so it's not detach detachable but you can adjust it so you can wear it with this one, a single strap on, and with two straps or double strap. So if you are going to be wearing it this way, the drop of the bag from here to here is 9.5 inches. But if you're going to be just using one, the drop is six, um, sorry, it's 17.5 inches. Hey! so gorgeous it's so nice and you can see the logo of Kate Spade in here so 
um, this is so pretty. So at the back, you can see that there's um, one slip pocket. And then when you open it, so this is a flap closure and with a magnetic snap. So it doesn't have a zipper right. Uh, it doesn't have a zipper right here, but inside. Um, it's lined with fabric lining um, and the fabric lining has Kate Spade logo in it. Inside you have your one zip pocket so I still have my care card and um, gift receipt of the bag. And on the other side, on the opposite side, so you can see that there's a slip pocket. So this, um, this is a medium amyline. So there is a mini emeline, but this one is a medium emeline, and the size is 10 inch uh, long, 7 inch tall, and 3 inch wide. Okay, so is this a heavy bag? No, for me, it's just um, lightweight. I don't have the exact um, weight of this bag without things or stuff inside it, but for me, it's just um, a lightweight bag. Um, given that it has its chain straps or and it's quilted, it's just a lightweight bag. Or in case you're wondering where I got mine, so I got this from PurseFashion2.ph. So again, this is not a sponsored video. I just want to share it with you guys because I I actually had a nice um, experience transacting with them. And if you're residing in the Philippines like me and you're looking for a legit online store that um, that sells like outlet goodies or luxury items from the States or from the US like your bags, your wallets, your shoes so you can check them out. So that's firstpassion2.ph for Instagram and Purse Passion, um, they're also in Facebook. So I'm just going to be placing the link of their pages um, in the description box below. So thank you for his passion. I thought when I saw it, this style is something that you can pair with almost any outfit. Like um, it's versatile. You can pair it with your jeans. You can pair it with um, uh, uh, your pair of shorts, dress, your suit. So anything. So it can also transition your look from daytime to nighttime. And it's I think it's a classy, simple yet classy kind of or bag. So I love this Kate Spade Emily. So I think this is one of the hot items in the Kate Spade outlet. Before buying this bag, actually, I was looking into the other color option that is a baby pink or soft pink color. So uh, the, uh, I think the actual color of the bag is rosy chicks. But I thought mm, maybe I'll go for a black this time because I only have one black bag. One nice black bag and that's the Kate Spade that I showed you earlier, the Brightwater Drive Rachel. So my first Kate Spade handbag, but it's not plain. It's printed, so um, I decided I'd go for the black one because I think black is the perfect neutral color and black will work fine with almost all colors out there. So if you wear pink, if you wear red, black. Uh, blue anything any color of your outfit it will match a black bag so comment down below if you agree but that's uh, that's my that's my opinion and also they say that ladies or a woman should have at least one little black dress in her closet so aside from that I think a woman should own or should have at least one nice black purse or black bag in her closet agree so black is a, just a classic and elegant color and it never gets out of style so it's timeless i haven't used this yet so let's just try um what are the stuff or things that will fit into the bag so at the back part in the sleep pocket i just placed my cell phone 
and then for the interior pocket so I don't know if you can see it clearly but I just um, placed my wallet inside so that's a long wallet and my sanitizer here and then my hand cream hand cream and then my makeup pouch so that's all that's um basically what uh those are basically what i'm gonna be putting inside this bag so th these are my essentials i uh, just don't like um filling my bag with so much stuff because it worries me that it might ruin the bag or the structure of the bag so i just always bring the essentials with me guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video just give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you will get updated every time I upload new video so if you want to share your thoughts about this video about this bag just comment down below my comment box is open just key in your comments there and I'll be happy to answer so until next time bye bye